Welcome to RC Pile on TV. I'm Don Stigall. Point in front of me is the Scarlet Screamer by the World Models. It's a newer version that has some improvements to it. One improvement is that it now comes in the scale color scheme, at least at what the real Scarlet Screamer was at one point in its life uh, with the solid white wing and solid white stabilizer and it has white wheel pants that are improved i have an aluminum landing gear on it but the gear that comes with the kit is actually red like the scale airplane one of the other improvements is that the wing is now fully sheeted where the other version had open bay wings I want to show you a couple angles so you can see what the plane looks like. And you can see the open bays in the wings for the wing servos. And the tail is removable. It has two screws that go through tubes up through the stabilizer and into the fin rudder assembly. So if your tail gets messed up, you can replace it, or if you need to take it off for shipping, you can. I have an E-Flight 1.5 inch spinner uh, taped to the nose of this kit. It's just snapped together. I haven't done any assembly on it. And the Scarlet Screamer is effectively identical to the Outrageous, except for the hatch and the fin. The rest of the airplane is the same design. The wing panels plug in and have a carbon fiber joiner. And just in case you missed the outrageous video where I snapped it apart, I'm going to now take this one apart. The cowl has screw holes as slots to go over the landing gear. And the landing gear is mounted using two socket head screws. The hatch has a place for you to insert the pilot and it has a pin at the front and a latch at the back. And inside there's plenty of room for your radio gear. The battery goes up here. The ESC typically goes under here and they include plywood pieces for mounting micro servos if you want to use micro servos instead of the mini servos that the holes are cut for. I believe the wing servo mounting plates are already set up for micro servos so you'll need to use micro servos in the wing. But I'm going to take the wing off I have the screws out of the wing and the panel just comes off. The decal sheet that comes with the kit has the scale shape 50, but it's in kind of an orange color, whereas on the real plane, it's actually kind of yellow.
I've unscrewed the fan and stabilizer and the fan just comes right off and you can see the holes that have blonde mountain nuts behind them and the stab sits in a saddle and the holes are elongated a little for fit. So you can easily take off the stabilizer and fin for shipping or for transport. The Outrageous and the Scarlet Screamer both make excellent EF1 pylon racing airplanes. They also make fun, fast club airplanes if your grass is cut short enough. If it's not very short, try taking the wheel pants off. But you can also use a lower powered motor than the EF1 motor, or you can use a lighter prop or you can even go down to three cells instead of four cells, as long as you make sure you keep your balance correct. So that's the new Scarlet Screamer from the World Models. It's available from Airborne Models and from stigallhobbies.com on the stigallhobbies.store on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more on RC Pylon TV. Thanks for watching.